My name is John Scandalios. I am the Reform Party candidate for New York State Assembly for Assembly District 40, which includes parts of Flushing and Whitestone, with the approximate geographic boundaries of 21st Avenue through 46th Avenue and 131st Street through 164th Street. Our government at all levels has become dominated by special interests, lobbyists, and professional politicians. I believe that people would be better served with citizen legislators. I have lived in Flushing for over 50 years. My parents immigrated from Greece. I received an excellent public education with each school being in Flushing as I graduated from Queens College, Flushing High School, Junior High School 185, and PS21. After college, I was employed for 10 years as a computer software engineer for the U.S. Defense Subcontractor Sperry in Lake Success, where I worked on the operating system for the Trident II submarine. Subsequently, for 20 years, I was a small business owner of a local comic book and baseball card shop named Crazy Scondos, which some of you may be familiar with if you have children or were collectors yourselves. Currently, I, I am employed as a communications training instructor. Six years ago, as a 50-year-old lifelong Democrat living in, a, living in a democracy, I decided to run for elected office. After personally collecting nearly 3,000 petition signatures, I was unfairly removed from the ballot from three ballots, actually, at the Board of Elections by the Queens County Democratic Party organization, also simply known as the machine. I didn't know then that for over 30 years, the machine was disenfranchising all candidates which were, weren't endorsed by them by removing them from the ballot. I am confident that if I was not removed off the ballot in 2012, I would have been elected to the State Assembly then, instead of my current opponent, lobbyist turned assemblyman, Ron Kim. I subsequently changed my party enrollment from Democrat to Reform. As a Reform Party member, I was voted to their state committee, delegate to the 11th Judicial Convention, and vice chairman of the Queens County Reform Party, where I vehemently promote democracy. On September 13, 2018, with 96% of the vote, I won the Reform Party primary for New York State Assembly for District 40. On Election Day Tuesday, November 6, I am the only opponent to lobbyist turned assemblyman Ron Kim. At the Reform Party, our preeminent platform issue is our belief that people should have the opportunity to vote on whether their elected officials should be subject to term limits. We strongly support allowing the people to make laws for themselves through initiative and referendum. When elected, I will bring together legislators to create a petition that once and for all will put term limits on for New York State legislators on the ballot for the people to decide, which will, without a doubt, be overwhelmingly supported. As a member of the Reform Party, it makes me uniquely qualified to be able to work with both Democrat and Republican legislators for the greater good of our community. As a former small business owner, I am fiscally conservative against the overregulation of small businesses and in favor of lowering taxes for everybody. I will reform election law, which disproportionately favors incumbents. I will legislate political reform to end the cesspool of pay-to-play corruption in Albany. My opponent lobbies turned Assemblyman Ron Kim overregulated the nail salon industry, and then he accepted tens of thousands of dollars in political campaign contributions from that industry. Plus, he recommended that they hire his previous employer, the lobbying firm, the Parkside Group. In quid pro quo fashion, he subsequently opposed the very same legislation that he helped, that he helped write. My opponent lobbyist turned assembly, Ron Kim, has written legislation to allow the creation of the flushing dollar a new currency to partially replace the U.S. dollar in Flushing. I am strongly opposed to this uninsured, unregulated new currency, which facilitates currency manipulation, tax evasion, criminal activity, domestic and international money laundering, exploitation, and isolationism. Section 8 and 10 of the Constitution forbids anyone other than the federal government to issue currency. I support the legalization of sports gambling and adult use recreational marijuana to fund the fix of the MTA. I support to keep the specialized high school acceptance tests, and I support honors programs grades 5 through 8 be added to schools in disadvantaged areas. I support individual freedom. I do not accept campaign contributions. My campaign is fully self-funded. I hope you will consider voting for me as your true representative in New York State Assembly on Election Day, Tuesday, November 6, where you'll be able to find me on the very last row on the front page of your paper ballot. Thank you.